Hey guys, this is Anita. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the books I'm predicting to be five stars for me. I planned to film this video in the beginning of this year and I made a list of books but I never filmed it. Last week I found that list and it was interesting to see how many books were really 5 stars for me and how many weren't. Kindred was on that list, it was 5 stars for me and Sword of Kagan was on that list. Though I gave only 4.5 stars to Sword of Kagan, it came pretty close. And Live Ships was on that list. Uh, Mad Ship I gave 5 stars, though Ship of Destiny did not work for me. Song of Eclipse was on that list for which I gave only 3.5 stars. I am not going to get into details now. All these books had separate reviews in my channel where I mentioned why I liked them or why I did not like them. I decided to make a new list of books which I am predicting to be 5 stars. To be honest, there are many books I think I love. There are many series I'm interested in but I am planning to include only books I will read by the end of this year. Hope this list will be more successful. The first book on this list is The Company by KJ Parker. I read only Folding Knife by KJ Parker. Just 20-30 pages into that book, I fell in love with Parker's writing. There was this scene in the beginning of that book which is not a funny scene in general. I generally get pissed in those kind of scenes. But Parker made me laugh of cloud with that scene. I immediately fell in love with his writing. And the premise of this book is also fascinating. Five war veterans move to an abandoned island to settle down there and restart their lives. There they find something that will shatter their dreams, which will test their friendship and loyalty. I like stories which explore loyalty. Also, Alan from Library of Alan Sanitary, I love this book. And Alan's recommendations never have gone wrong for me so far. So I have high expectations on this. I'll be reading this book in October and I'm reading this with Pete from Ponderings of Pete. Next on my list is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I read Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. That wasn't a 5 star book for me. I like her writing. It was beautiful and I like the setting of that book. Erin Mokastan's writing is very atmospheric. It really felt like we are walking through the circus. But I could not connect with characters and I wasn't invested in the plot. But the premise of Starless Sea is very interesting. It follows a student who finds a mysterious book in which he comes across a story from his childhood and he starts uncovering clues and finds a doorway to a hidden library and from there his journey starts. This sounds very whimsical and I like story within a story kind of books. It reminds me of The Shadow of the Wind by Carlo Ruiz Jafan which I enjoyed a lot. So I have a feeling this book works for me. This is also one of the favorite books of Evie from She Was Only Evie. Mostly her favorite books work for me like Winter Night Trilogy and Farsi Trilogy. I'm planning to read this in December. I made plans with Johanna but it's been long since we made those plans. I need to check with her. She's still planning to read this. Next on my list is Full Seren by Robin Hobb. This is book one in Donnie Man Trilogy. I thought a lot whether to include this book or not. So far I read six books from Realm of Elderlings World, three books from Farsi Trilogy and three books from Life Ship Trilogy. Three of them were five stars for me and two of them were 4.5 stars and one is two stars. I am very upset with the ending of Life Ship Trilogy. I did not like one character's arc after how it had been started. So I wasn't sure whether I'll continue with this Realm of Elderlings journey but the next trilogy Tony Man trilogy again focus on Fizz and Fool which are characters from Farsi trilogy. Many people I know said that this book is their favorite in this world and I still remember how Hob made me feel in Assassin's Apprentice and Assassin's Quest. Hob's character work and character interactions in those books were top notch so I decided to continue and I'm sure Hob will make me fall in love with this world and characters again. Next in this list is a novella. This is the only novella in this list that is August by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I am finishing the Shadows of the App series by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I am reading 10th and final book in that series right now. I enjoy Tchaikovsky books. Last year his standalone Guns of the Dawn became one of the favorite books I read. I want to read more by him. I want to pick up his popular work Children of Time series but that is a trilogy so I want to start it fresh next year. I want to pick up a standalone or a novella after finishing his long series. My options are Cage of Souls 
August and Elder Race. Cage of Souls is a standalone and August and Elder Race are novellas. It's a tough choice between these three, but I want to include only one in this list. I decided to go with August. After checking the premise of this novella, I'm sure that I will love it. It is about a conflict between landlords and peasants. August are landlords and are tyrants. I always love a good rebellion, so I'm very excited for this. And for this fifth book, I am going out of fantasy genre. I haven't heard many people from Booktube talking about this, at least Booktube I watch. Most of the Booktube I watch is fantasy Booktube, so that makes sense. I heard one person talking about this in Booktube, but I don't remember now who it was. But when I heard about this book, I noted it down. It sounded very interesting. Recently, when I met my real life friend, she mentioned this book, she mentioned this quartet, she said she loved this and that bumped this book in my TBR. It's first book in a quartet that is a brilliant friend. This is by an Italian author. This is a story of two friends, Elena and Lila and their relationship. And through them, author tells us the story of their neighborhood and their city. I have a feeling this book works for me. I originally planned to include only five books in this list. But in the last minute, I decided to add one more. This may be the only non-fiction book I read before the end of this year. There are many memoirs in my TBR. I want to read Know My Name, Just Mercy. I placed hold for them in my library, but I keep clicking on Deliver Later from past three months because I don't want to read something sad. I'm already reading so many sad and dark books in fantasy. So I want something to work as a palate cleanser for me. I decided to go with Bonnie Crime by Trevor Noah. I like Trevor Noah. My real life friends and I always discuss his show and how articulate he is about current issues. And I heard good things about his memoir. I heard it is funny though it deals with hard subject matter. I think I like this. That's all for me in this video. Please let me know in comments what you think will work for me and what may not work for me. See you in the next video. Bye bye.